The Olympics have been postponed. According to Dick Pound, he said, On the basis of the information the IOC has, postponement has been decided. The parameters going forward have not been determined, but the games are not going to start until July 24th. That much I know. I've been trying to push this along the past couple weeks that ever since the NBA had decided to postpone their season, this COVID, how it's going to affect the US, how it has affected Europe, how it's affected Asia, of course, I don't think it was ever going to be possible for the games to be held. No matter if we shut down everything, no matter what, there's always going to be a public health concern and public health crisis. And in the end, the IOC has made the right decision. The IOC, an organization that in the past has wanted to keep the status quo through crisis, so kind of nice to see that they've been a little bit proactive even though they've had their hand kind of forced. The dominoes started rolling, obviously. Uh, US, one US woman, US Gymnastics, USA Track and Field came out and said that they were suggesting you postpone the games for one year. On the heels of that, Canada, as a country, I haven't had a video since this has happened, has said that they are not sending any athletes to the Olympics at all. Once that happens, you now no longer have a full strength Olympic Games. Because if Canada, who is on pace for sending the most athletes they've ever sent to Summer's Games, um, as far as qualifications go. That's a pretty strong force and allies with a lot of countries that you definitely want there. Um, Australia, on the heels of that, and come out so that they aren't sending their athletes. That's another huge player in Summer Games. Uh, it was looking like the majority of the NGPs in the US were going to be on there. Uh, UK Athletics was on its way had already been suggesting one of your bands. You would have to think that France and Spain would also not send their athletes given how their countries have been ravaged by COVID. So ultimately, this is the right decision. You have to feel for the athletes. You just have to feel for the athletes. But postponing the Olympics of 2021 is the right way to go. Now, where do we go from here? Now, being that this is an unprecedented situation, there isn't a lot to go off of. You can look at a couple of things to kind of get a sense for what they will do. Obviously, pushing off to 2021 will be the way to go, but leaves a couple of questions open for what happens with the World Championships that have already been awarded for 2021. In track and field, for instance, Eugene was supposed to be hosting the 2021 track and field World Championships. If they follow the FIFA and UEFA model, then Everything will be pushed to 2021. Everything 2021 will be pushed to 2022. And then you can kind of reevaluate from there. The next question would be, what is going to happen to USATF Olympic Trials and the USATF American Championships? Because a lot of athletes' contract situations are directly tied to the performance at the, Olympic, or the American Championships and the Olympic Trials. If these competitions aren't held, a lot of athletes are going to have their contract status in limbo, as in they'll have a contract, but they won't be able to hit any of their incentives, and thusly, kind of have their pro professional viability up in the air. There are a lot of athletes that have to make a USATF final in terms to like hit some incentives that actually make it worth it to be a professional athlete. Now, obviously, that's my cat playing in the background here, a bunch of noises. Obviously, everyone is being hit hard by this, so it's not just athletes that are having to struggle. But these are some very unique circumstances in that I know for a fact there are some athletes that would make $500,000 for winning a U.S. title. That's not including if they double, that's not including what happens at the Olympic Games. That's $500,000 that if we don't have U.S. trials or U.S. championships this year, it's off the table for them. That's just, that's the culture of being a professional athlete, I guess, but it's a lot up in the air and it's a lot of worry, it's a lot of stress on the athletes. So that's why trying to advocate for the faster we get this done, the better. I'll put up, put out a couple articles just kind of explaining what this timeline needs to work, needs to look like, needs to work with. But with the athletes I've talked to, they want an answer. Obviously they want track and field. Every athlete wants track and field. Ryan Benjamin put out a video about how this was his year, but he accepts it and 
you know, it's out of their hands. Emma Coburn had the same kind of sentiment. Um, the Athletics Association, We Are The Sport, surveyed over a thousand athletes. 80% of them went to postpone the games. I don't know how the other 20% broke down, but it's something that the athletes recognize needs to happen from a public health concern, but still, it's your livelihood you're talking about, and that is always going to hurt. Let me know how you guys feel about the cancellation of the Olympics. Obviously, there are broader concerns in this track and field, you know. It, basketball had finally gotten a lot of athletes to sign up for it before NBA season went to crap. Uh, so there's a lot of other high caliber sports where this is it. This is the Olympics are the end all be all that just aren't happening now. So it sucks, it hurts, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let's talk about it, let's talk this through. I need to process these emotions and you can help me process them. Subscribe if you like these videos. I put out a video essay yesterday, put a lot of effort into, so I appreciate if you come across this video and haven't watched that video yet. I'll link it at the end. In the meantime, hope you guys are enjoying your quarantine. Stay at home, go for a run if you get stir crazy, and don't go breathing on people. Happy running.